It's happening, gamers. The big Season 3 update in Warzone Mobile drops today, and the devs have released some big fixes coming to mobile. Season 3 is the first biggest update in Warzone Mobile, and a lot of players are wondering if the game is going to be fixed for their devices. And that includes overheating, performance, and graphics issues. Well, boys and girls, yesterday Activision shared some interesting fixes, so let's get into them. So number one, some Android devices were misconfigured to use higher default settings than intended, so they fix that by adjusting the default settings for Android devices. This basically means that your Android phones were basically auto configured to have higher settings that were meant for higher end devices. So now they fix that, it should be a lot better. Another one, the graphics took longer to load than expected, resulting in low fidelity graphics in early matches. So they fix that by adding more assets that are loaded in before the match begins, so graphics will immediately improve rather than upon joining a game. So you guys know, the more games you play and the longer you play Walls and Mobile, the more the graphics and the assets and the textures load in. But what they've done now is before the game even starts, the graphics will already be loaded in. So when you load in, it's not going to lag or you're not going to lose frames as much. Another big one is crashing, graphical corruptions and disconnects were unexpectedly occurring on Android devices. I've had a ton of you guys saying that your games crash and you just can't play and every time you load it up, there's like graphical problems, like weird glitches on the screen and your characters look all weird. But they fixed that by discovering a bug causing too many vehicles and buy stations to spawn on Verdansk, which impaired game performance. This has been resolved. So they basically removed a lot of the vehicles and buy stations, or basically there were more vehicles and buy stations that were loading into Verdansk and, and the uh, Rebirth Island, which weren't meant to be there. It looks like they've removed a lot of them, but I'm not sure how much that's going to fix it, so, but we'll see. Another fix, if you disconnect, they've added a rejoin feature, so you can actually get back into the game you were previously in if you accidentally disconnect. Another issue, the default FPS cap was set too high on certain device models, resulting in thermal and performance issues. So they've now adjusted the default frames per second for devices to keep devices cool. Now I'm not sure what they mean by this. Do they mean that they are going to be reducing the frame rate so devices are only going to be able to use like 30 FPS? Because if that's the case, I, I don't think that's a major fix. It basically means before that some of your devices had like uncapped and 60 FPS options when they shouldn't have. So it's going to be interesting to see when this update comes out if it's actually going to be 30 FPS capped for a lot of your devices, but we'll see. Now in progress that they're still fixing now, they are continuing to adjust other levels that affect the device temperature. I know a lot of you guys struggle from overheating, even I do on the latest iPad Pro after a couple of games, my device overheats. Luckily I've got a cooler, but for a lot of you guys that haven't, it's bad. Another issue, Warzone Mobile uses streaming to load in graphics as you play. This dramatically reduces the total install footprint and download size for players, but players with poor internet connectivity will experience lower tier graphics. So a fix for this, more graphics will load in before the match begins, so graphics will immediately improve rather than upon joining the game. So again, we've gone over that already. You're going to have all the graphics and assets loaded in before you even get into the game. More real players lead to more difficult games. We've adjusted the matchmaking and other levels to improve the level of difficulty for new players. Players. Now, does this mean that they are going to be adding more bots for new players, or does this mean they're going to be reducing the game? So at the moment, every every game I play, I've got like full stack lobbies. I don't come across any bots, or rarely come across a bot. So. It's going to be quite sad if they do start adding more bots in the game, but that's going to fix it for, you know, the, the newbies and the, the new guys that are playing Walls on Mobile. And then the last issue, there are too many controller players in Walls on Mobile, so we'll continue to evaluate balancing player matchmaking pools by native touch and controls. Now, they actually mentioned before that 95% of the community are actually using touchscreen, not controller, and only 5% are, so I haven't actually come across that many controller players, so... I don't think that really needs to be touched, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, again, I'm not going to super hype you guys up because the update's not out yet. It's dropping at 5 p.m. BST today, which is UK time. So if you translate that to yours, 5 p.m. in the afternoon, that's when the update is going to drop and we'll finally be able to see how improved it is. If it's not as improved, again, don't get your hopes up. It's not going to be perfect. They've already mentioned it's not going to be perfect. They're going to continue to roll out more updates over the next four weeks over this season. Remember, guys, they've already done three already in the first week and this big update in the first week. So imagine what it's going to be like in another three or four weeks. Regardless, I'm super excited. I'm glad that this is a priority. They are making this an absolute priority to get as many of you guys to play and enjoy Wars of Mobile as possible. And you got to give it to them, man. It's amazing to see devs actually listening to the community and doing something about the game. Remember Apex Mobile? They didn't do too much with the community and that didn't turn out well. So I'm glad that Wars 
Amazon Mobile are actually being responsive. They're communicating. It's going to be good. I'm going to be live today before the update, so make sure you drop a sub, make sure you drop a like, comment down below and let me know what you think about these updates and hopefully we get a banger update. See you in season three, boys. What the fuck? Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV active. No. Nice boys. Oh, there's one above. There's no way. Yo, Lex. Touch me, bro. Fuck, dude. Lex, buy me in. Wow, that dude's shredding me, bro. Come on, Lex. See what you got. Lex, bro. Keep it up. So, bro. What was that?